Hello, welcome to the Freak Show. Bumpy Mix Squigums here. I want to thank you all for joining me once again as I continue with my Let's Play of Heroes of Might and Magic 7, HOM 7, or Might and Magic Hero 7, as it is actually called. Apparently, I missed some resources. We're on episode 11. We are going to gather up anything and everything that we can right here. It's going to be sweet, sweet, nice. There it is. Ooh, we got Asha's Will. Asha's Will what? <laughs> Let's see what it actually is. It looks like a main hand weapon. Plus three hero damage per level. Oh, it's something that levels up. Very cool. And plus two health to friendly... To friendly um, targets. Hold on. I'm going to equip this for a second. I'll see. It says plus two. Is, does it actually level up or no? Doesn't seem to be effective uh, affected in any way. Plus three hero damage per level. I don't know. I feel like there's something not right with that. I'd equip it, but I don't know. Having the uh, full range seems too nice to pass up. I'm sorry. I'm gonna go with the unicorn bow. I know. I know. It's not the greatest thing in the world, but eh, it is simply what it is. And that's what I'm going to roll with. Alright, uh, let's go take a peek over at Bright's Gate and see what is available here for us. And it appears that we can get some more fortifications. We can get another level of the Mage Guild. Yes, please! And maybe eventually the fourth level. I will be all over that. Alright, we're going to end our turn. We are going to wait for the House of Materia. Then we're going to go on over. And I'm a little bit saddened because I feel like once we get here... I don't know, and it looks like there's two people we can talk to there as well, which is a little bit, eh. I don't know, guys, we'll figure it out when we get there. We'll figure it out when we get there. What else do we have? Nothing. Let's build this. Built. All powerful and ready to go. Alright, we're going to be at the very end of, of the week. It's going to be nice. We're going to come over here and tag this up. It's raining outside, guys. I don't know if you hear any weird sounds or anything of, the na of that nature. But if you do, it's because it is raining and the window's open. I know. It's a little bit saddening. All right, we're gonna leave the juice to car here. I know I like to say that, guys. I don't know why. I know it's just a car, but I'm still gonna leave it as the juice to car. We're gonna leave the juice to car there, or the just a car, and we're gonna grab up all the remaining troops that we can here. Bring these guys not with us, but eventually we will. All right, drag you there, 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 and there. You guys get to stay, and we're going to return to the town. And it's probably going to take like a full week if I don't visit the other stables. Eh, whatever. We're just going to roll out on it and see what we can do. Alright, let's end the turn after we go back to Bright's Gate and build up whatever the next building is going to be. I think the artillery range sounds pretty decent to me, so we're going to build that up. And then we're going to end the turn. And it's going to be the week of the crazy combat hamster. That's right, the berserk combat hamster of death gonna be totally fine wow we can move pretty far it's that movement i'm telling you guys i'm telling you it is pretty crazy pretty insane we are actually very very financially secure right now as well all right we're gonna end our turn and we are going to run closer to the stables we're going to upgrade our giant stack of of uh tier one units and then yeah, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. I think we can level... Oh, we can't level up again because we are at max level. Alright, and I guess our final building is ready. That's this. And let's do it. There it is. So we can pretty much recruit whatever it is we want to recruit at this point, can't we? Tier 2, Tier 2, Tier 2, Tier 2, Tier 2, and Tier 1. Nope, that's that's the Tier 2, right? Yeah, the the Curacier. Curacier. Well, it's a it's a cuirass, so it's a cuirassier, I guess. A curia, cuirassier? I don't know. I have no idea how to enunciate it, guys. We're gonna call it a cuirassier. It sounds crazy. It sounds like he's very, very curious, which is a little bit weird. It kind of makes you wonder about that guy. I'm just saying. How curious is he? <laughs> it's not funny. I know. I know. Well, we could hop on the boat and go out and do other things if we wanted. Actually, I don't think we can because that is not part of it. Why does it say we can build another building? We do not have a tier of Asha. And we could build this if we had the plus five that we need. All right, Mage Guild level four. We can make that a reality. I think we can do that just fine. 
All right, what do we have in a plethora of? We have a lot of wood. Let's get rid of some of the wood and get one of the things that we need, and then we can build the Mage Guild level four. And there it is, and now our town is pretty much tapped out until we get where we need to go with the tier of Asha, which I do not believe we will be getting. All right, upgrades, upgrades, upgrades. Let's get us some upgrades. And there it is, that is tremendous. Let's go visit the spells here. Alright, we've learned a gust of wind, we've learned teleport, pretty sexy, the celestial armor, which is the the absorption shield, I like that, the lightning bolt, excellent. Retribution, yeah, that's gonna be awesome. Earthquake, it's gonna topple buildings. I think it does damage to actual units this time. Yeah, it does. The Cyclone, I have no idea what that does, but we'll check that out later. And finally, Chain Lightning, our Tier 4 magic spell. I don't think that we can actually use that, but hey, it's cool that we have it, right? Alright, it's going to cost to recruit all 50,428. We can actually afford that, and we will. Recruit all, and there it is. The recruition is done. Oh, they swat... Oh my god. Uh, the developers did an update, and... <laughs> I, I, I started getting myself into this this mode here where I I don't know whatever it's fine now you know what I think it is actually you know why I think this happened the way it did it recruited from the this stuff first and then it did it from the high to low so it really it made it even worse for me that's so funny that's so ironic you guys have no idea what I'm talking about unless you've been watching all this time all right so the way I've always done it guys we'll, we'll recap real quick and then we'll get on with the game the way I've always done it, and all the Homs up till this point, I always had the Tier 1, Tier 2, all the way down to whatever the final tier unit was. And then in the later games, uh, 6 and 7 for sure, maybe even 5, when you did the Auto Recruit, or the Recruit All button, it did it the opposite way. The highest tier went on the left side, and then went all the way down to the lowest. So I would always constantly like drag and swap everything around, so I still had the weakest to the, or the lowest to the highest tier. Now what happened here was it recruited from the buildings, the two um, forts, first and put those three there, which it did it in order, and then it recruited from highest to lowest the other way. So then it became the Curasairs, the Justicars, and the Abbots in that order. Which if this didn't exist right here, the uh, extra buildings, it would have done it all the way down the line the correct way, the way I have it down here. So, I don't know, it's kind of funny, guys. It's a little ironic. Meh. I say meh. Alright, it's time for us to leave this place and probably finish up the map. I think we can probably do it. It's going to take a bit, but I think we can probably get it done. So I'm going to give it a shot. Let's see, is there anywhere I need to go other than directly to where I need to be? No, it doesn't look like it. We'll tag the stables along the way, and then that's going to be it. We don't have to worry about the town any longer either. So we can just end the turn and move there. So, a little bit out of our way, guys. A little bit of backtracking, and there's certain games where there's really loud engine sounds and motorcycles outside my window. I apologize for that. That or somebody just ate a whole bunch of chili. I don't know. Anyway, uh, a lot of games punish you for going around exploring, backtracking, making sure you have enough of an army. I don't know that this game will necessarily do that. I'm sure there'll be times where they get more re reinforcements than we do, and we have to force our way there, or bad Juju Magumbo is going to happen. I'm not sure. We're going to actually end the turn, wait for the next week, and then we're going to go. Alright, so here it comes. The end of everything. The week of the Serpent Fly. The week when it is impossible to have a quiet lakeside fishing session. Fair enough. Alright, the stables have been received. We're going to head on over to the place. We're going to recruit the troops there, we're going to send another batch of reinforcements, and then we're going to be all about our business. Alright. And here it is. We are going to recruit all. We're going to add all of you into your lovely, lovely little places here. And then we are going to do this. And we are going to recruit all, but we can't because we can't afford it. Which is fine. We'll come back to this and then we'll recruit all. It's totally fine. I think I'm going to recruit all the baby things for now, though. Yeah, I think that's... You know what? We can recruit from high to low. That's fine. Looks like we can get almost all of them, honestly. What are we going to be short on... On anything? Are we going to be short? Oh, we're going to be a little bit short on those guys. Alright. That's fair. That's fair. 
Alright, well this says the ground is cursed over here. I don't... I don't think there's anything over there. We're gonna go take a peek. You cannot go to Hammerfall before completing your task. Conrad entrusted you with. Alright, so we're gonna come over this way. We're actually gonna tag up the weird fountain thing as well. Our very, very massively large caravan should be on its way. I think it should change with the size. What do you guys think? Like, I have a lot of troops coming. It should be like, you should see like waves and waves and waves of troops coming. Or several caravan wagons or something. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Meh. Alright, onward and downward we go. We are underground now, and this is where we finally get to do combat again. We have ourselves a campsite there. It looks like a freebie bit of gold there. And tons of things to gather up and a bunch of stuff to kill. Sadly, all this is going to be trivial at this point, so meh. I say meh. Alright, so our forces have arrived at Plain Watch. I am okay with that. Alright, let's get into doing some battle. They would have joined us. The Assassins and the Shades and the Troglodyte. But unfortunately, we don't have the money. Nor will we want the money because we are full up on our troops. This should be pretty one-sided. I can't see this going well for the enemy. I'm just saying, this is going to be a pretty one-sided fight. Also, I'd rather not lose my troops. There we go. Okay, um, I guess you can kind of... There we go. We'll chill there. I don't know if the assassins are melee or if they're ranged. I'd assume that they're melee, but there's no way to be sure. We can kill 26 or 29. We'll kill 29. I'd actually want to see what kind of spells we have available to us. If we have all up to the level 4 or not, it looks like they are melee. So we're going to wait it out let them close with us a little bit. I don't think they can quite reach. Alright, and it looks like they are ready to do massive damage. Which basically means nothing because I'm just going to kill them outright. How did we... I thought we guaranteed the 41 on that. Hmm... Well, I don't know. It's fine. We got the kill there. I'm going to zoom in a little bit and move our map. We can kill 70 of these guaranteed. Let's do that then. Down they go. And is he ever going to move? I'm not sure. We can kill the 49 or none of them. Alright, we killed 33. Oh no, we've been poisoned. We've been poisoned. We can kill 25 to 31. We kill 26. We get to go again. Brothers in arms, go! Alright. And with finality, we will drop him with our ranged. And victory is ours. The coordinated effort and, well, sweet, sweet, nice style. There we go. Max level is, of course, reached. We are going to skip on over that. We could go and do that if we wanted, but meh. We'll come down here and grab the For wood. For the first time in his adventure... Thomas came across something he could not fathom, and rather than drawing his sword, he went to find allies. Really? Really? You think that's exactly what he what did, is huh? What is foul magic? This is a question for wizards. Masfar may be of help. You think so, huh? What foul? Oh, a fire gate. Okay. Well, I suppose we'll clear out the area, then we'll go back and talk to Masfar and see what he's got to say to us. We're going to start combat right now. Kill off some Medusas. I believe they are ranged, so we're going to try to get across the field rather rapidly to deal with these individuals. Alright, I think we're fine, except I'm going to move you here. There we go. Ha! Want to look at us turn to stone? Not really. Really, you're going to attack the angel? Because that doesn't seem like a good idea at all. Oh, you can attack and then move. Well, that's interesting. So, mobile shooter. The creature can either move and then shoot, or shoot and then move. That's awesome! That is something that's been missing from Hom for quite a while. They might have had a unit that could do that in 6, though I don't recall. Critical hit creatures become incapacitated until the end of the next turn, or until they get damaged. Very nice. Cool stuff. Very, very cool stuff. Alright, what we're going to do is utilize our superpowers. And first we're going to kill eight of these guys off, which is awesome. And then we're going to charge down this group right here. Kill them off in one shot. And then if we get lucky, which we should... Nope, no morale boost. Well, I'm okay with that, I guess. 
All right, we're going to charge up here and attack. And with our morale boost now, we can... Yeah, we can move not close enough because the wolf is actually blocking. Well, that's inconvenient. All right, well, whatever. We're going to stand here and be like, what's up? Look at us, just closing distance. Can't do anything, though. It's unfortunate. And you're going to attack the... Oh, you wrecked the wolves. That is just unpleasant. Why? The poor little wolfies. All right, whatever. We're just going to defend and kill you. It's sad. It's a little sad. Didn't really expect the, the kill to come out like that. That was uh, surprising. Hindsight being what it is, what I should have done is actually attack that group with the wolves and kill this off with the the chargey cavalier guys or the cuirassiers. So, meh. Alright, well, we're going to gather up this, and this is a mysterious crypt. The first visiting hero finds an artifact, but is cursed. Eh, I don't care about being cursed. Search the site for an artifact. Be aware that you will be cursed for the sacrilege. Okay, that's fine. The Amulet of Health, which we're probably not even going to use. Oh, we are using it. Yay! Oh, plus one health for friendly creatures. Oh, but wait. Plus five initiative to friendly creatures is the two-set item bonus. Nice, nice. All right, we have more searching and things to do, so let's go to it. And I have found another enemy in which to throw myself at. Oh, and I will. Our initiative is going to be a little bit low, but don't worry, we'll make up for it. All right, let's do it. Combat. The battle is real. Or the power is yours, or I don't know. It's, it's fine. All right, wolves, no more crazy suicidal stuff. All right, we're up against a Hydra, which is pretty cool. All right, let's see what spells we have available. We have Resurrection. Ooh. That would have been useful to use last time. Apparently, we only have access to level one, maybe level two spells. I'd say only level one. All right, so be it. So be it. We're going to wait. I think we can pretty much wait with everyone. I don't think they have a chance at actually closing with us to do anything, so... It seems like an awful lot of work. you think they'd be really, really tired to have to burrow all the way under to where they're going. So they're like, alright, we're here. <sighs> alright, it says we can hit two heroes in a line or two enemies in a line. However, it also looks like we will hit all of our allies in a line, too. Shoots all units in a line. Okay. I thought maybe it said all enemies. My bad. Bloop. Down you go. Do we get another... Nope, we do not. Alright. Is it enough? It is. And we get to go again. Alright. Let's see if we can't boost our morale a little bit more here. Lead by example and follow by example. Beautiful. Sweet, sweet, nice. Next up, we have the billion troops... And we're going to go for the full flanking. There it is. Attack A! Alright, sweet and easy, guys. Okay, we're going to skip over that. Ah, you know what? I'm not going to skip over that, guys. I kind of like to see what we get experience-wise or whatever the case is that is there. Ooh. Plus four magic permits casting of the dark spell shadow image once per combat. Probably not able to use that, but that's okay. We're going to double our maximum mana since we use so much of it. Gather up some gold, gather up some wood, and I think it's time for us to head back and talk to our friends. Wait, there's a loose rock. We cannot move there. This can... what? This can probably be pushed away with little effort. Or perhaps with a little effort? I don't know. Cannot move there. Huh. I wonder if there's a spell that lets us do something like that. I don't think so. Well, I'm not sure exactly how you can push something away. With a little bit of effort, but I assume there's something. We'll probably learn about it when we go back this way. Alright, let's head back up and talk to our wizardly friends. And we'll also stop in at our little fort there and get some stuff handled. Alright, we'll end the turn and we'll head on up to the House of Materia. Running on over. And we're just short. Alright. On the turn again and running on over. Be able to, I guess, get the rest of the troops. 
Can we recruit all? Can we do that? Is that a thing that would allow us to do? We, it just says we can recruit. It doesn't allow us to recruit all from here. That's a little bit weird. I'm okay with it, but it's still a little bit odd. Alright, and go down this way, and go over here, and get you, and get you, and try to get you again. There we go. We are severely overpowered for exactly what we have to do, I think. But, it's okay. Let's go talk to our wizardly friends. A flaming gate. I thought we had rid ourselves of every last demon. Demons? So close to Hammerfall. That would explain the elemental disturbance. But demons are far more dangerous than you realize. I would seek your uncle for help. There was a battle long ago here against demonic forces. Your uncle chased them off, leaving only one survivor. Imaril. I know that girl. She still carries her mother's sword from that battle today. You don't need your uncle for this, Lord Thomas. I can help you go through this gate. Fire magic is my speciality. Gloria, the risks are extremely high. You always say the rewards outweigh the risks, do you not? I did. I do. Under Southern Peak, we can find a shard of fire in the veins of lava. With it, I can open this fire gate. I've no doubt about that, but I fear what you might find there. Stay here, Masfar, and guard Broken Spear Pass. I will escort Gloria to recover the shard and open that gate. I will make sure no harm becomes her. Indeed, we are the guardian of Gloria. Gloria is our ward. She just kind of like ran off and just like, I'm going to stay over here. It's fine. All right. We're going to have to head on back down eventually. Can we move in and like, like, is there a way to do stuff here? I feel like it'd be a lot of fun to go in and like take over their uh, place, but meh. What else? All right, we're going to end our turn and our little... Well, caravan's gonna leave. We're gonna actually start up another cam caravan right afterward. Oh, and you're gonna go back and actually guard the pass. That's kind of interesting. Week of Meow. A week when our feline overlords take over. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. I do not bow to felines. Sorry. Alright, well, let's recruit all. Bring you on down. Bring you on down as well, and you. And then we'll go over here, and it looks like the recruiting is there. Oops. Awkward. We'll have to recruit slowly, but surely. A bit. Oh, we can actually recruit all now. All right. I swear it wasn't highlighted when I started. I don't know. Maybe I'm going crazy. It, it wouldn't be the first time. All right. We're going to come here, rally at the flag, and then I guess come over here. I don't. Okay. She's going to do something. Oh, she's going to burn down the forest. Okay. So there we go. By Slash and Elma. burn. If an apprentice can wield such power, I wonder what Masfar can do. Here. Somewhere down the mountain is the shard of fire we need. Come to the gate when you have it. I'll be there. All right, Gloria. Thank you. That was pretty impressive. What else could you light on fire? Wait, that doesn't make any sense. Hmm. Alrighty, we'll end our turn and see what's next. I do like the caravan. It's just, it's just a giant horse. There's no rider, just like horses that know directly where to go. It's crazy. And a big bundle of stuff. She's like, I'm out, deuce deuce. We shall ride to the underground. Hey, what's up? It's a little warm down here. Maybe you guys think you're getting something like air conditioning? No? Alright. They want to join us too. Nope. Attack! We want to kill you and make you die in many, many ways. Mostly because we can, and mostly because it pleases us. Alright, the wolves will go there, and I like it. Oh, they are arranged individuals. All right, it's time to get some wolf murder going on right here. All right, let's go here. Wolf murder. Very nicely done. Do we get to move again? Oh, we do. We do get to move again. Well, let's kill 25 of you off and then try this. Alright, that was actually quite impressive. 
All right, and it looks like we can actually run you down. 84 of you are dead. And if we get lucky here with our high morale. Oh yeah, it's gonna happen. And look at that, we actually were able to traverse the map and kill everybody. It is beautiful, sweet, sweet, nice style, folks. All right, we killed all of them, we lost no one. It is simply what it is. All right, and it looks like there are tons of things for us to pick up. Crystals and other various things. And can we squeeze on in here? Oh, it looks like we can. And there's the Shards of Fire. We shall end our turn and allow our caravan to continue. It will be okay, I can assure you of this. I don't know why she didn't just, like, join me. Like, we could have talked. I mean, Gloria seems to be kind of pleasant. Oh! Oh, look at that with the ninjetic move. And bam! Guess what, Gloria? You're not here yet. I'm waiting. Oh, she is here. Well, curses. Cheater. See that? She cheated. She somehow teleported. Hmm. It's fine. Alright, the House of Materia. We're gonna talk to good old Gloria. Lady Gloria. Show me this trick of yours, then. With pleasure, my lord. Well, that wasn't creepy at all. All right, let's do it. Why did we move there? What? The flames are back. By Elrath, what are you? Fool! Are you afraid of the word? I am demon. I have planned for decades to steal Hammerfall from the bloodsmiths. How appropriate that Conrad's own blood opened the gate to his order's demise. <laughs> Bloodsmith? My uncle? Lies! An infamy! Your uncle has many secrets. To think that he gave the Morning Light Sword to the Red Shield girl. Now, thanks to you, I know where to find my prize. Imeril? No! If you harm her, I will destroy you! Even your hell will not want you back! Promises, promises. That's all you wolf know. Open your eyes. You're trapped. You can't save your precious Imoril. I will tell her how much you cared. As she draws her last breath. I am Damon. Alright, well, so be it. Alright, so Gloria, very, very hot, but also very, very angry, Thomas so... Thomas had unearthed a not demon great. plot, and faced the children of Sheog without fear. But at this very moment, there was only one thing on his mind. Saving Imaril. Okay, we must save Imaril. Alright, Elemental Disturbance, Rewards, Cloak of Arkath, Scroll of Resurrection. And apparently, I cannot move there. Well, it looks like it's time for us to continue on down the line. And there's not a lot here for me to do other than follow the path, it seems. And what is this? There is a Lilum over there. That does seem a little bit scary. But I think it's going to be absolutely massacred. Alright, we're going to head on in there. And unfortunately, we're not there. Ooh, there's a captive fire elemental. All right, she's gonna go and try to say or try to capture our betrothed, even though it's not really a betrothed. All right, Lilum, that is your real name. Prepare yourself for death. We shall ch face you in mortal combat, or ch face you. I don't know. It's fine. We shall face you on the field of battle, and you will die a horrible death. Oh, very, very, very hot. Also, quite terrifying. They are all kind of on fire. Hmm. A level 8 hero up against a 17. I think I might have a slight advantage. Though I'm not entirely certain. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to wait for the majority of our folks. And we're going to see what happens. I imagine we're going to get hit by some sort of burning determination. Okay. I figured some sort of spell or something was going to come our way, but not quite yet. Here comes the ranged succubi. Oh, and they are going to cast a spell. And we are going to use our scroll of resurrect on our poor little puppies. Bloosh. All right, there we go. Come over here. A resurrection. We'll resurrect all 11, or 11 out of however many actually died there. 
We do have angels that are ready to do some damage, but we're going to have to wait it out. We can actually kill all 30 of these guys straight up. I'm going to try it. Hopefully there's no, like, retaliatory lava splash or something. Nope, there's not. Excellent. And we can also do some potential damage to these. Not that much. Uh, that was a bit unfortunate. Alright, we're going to go a long distance attack there. I'm going to follow it up with another one. And down go the succubi. Up next, the 30 kill. Very easy. And I believe we're going to have a follow-up attack. And indeed we are. There it is. First splotchity. Down you go, and victory is ours once again. Alright. She had negative experience? I don't... She had pos plus minus experience. That's weird. Okay, whatever. It seems to counter out, so that would be zero. I, I have no idea, guys. It's whatever. All right, so we lost five, we lost four. Not that big of a deal, but victory is oh, ours. Seven dragons. I will never catch them. I've been a fool, and Imeril is going to pay for my stupidity. My only hope is that Masfar can hold them at Broken Spear Pass, and that he is not one of them. You have other hopes. What about uh, the Red Shield gal herself? Couldn't she hold them? You doubt her superpower? Alright, we gained one might and one destiny. I'm all about that. Alright, and let's see what happens next, folks. What's going on? Oh, okay. So I don't know what's going on, but I'm here. Alright. Let's see. We do not have a tremendously huge amount of awesome, unfortunately. Alright. We get to place our battlefield units. I don't really know what these things have to offer me either, unfortunately. Um. Feel as though maybe getting rid of the wolves right now might be a better play and getting the archers out. Though I'm not sure. Alright, well, we got the roll with this to see what we can do. Okay, we have uh, the genie army. Ah, Maspar, our studious fool, ready to pay for your blindness. Gloria, is caring blindness? I think not. It is a strength your kind will never understand. Ah, the sweet pain of betrayal. I see it on your face. Your simple-minded little apprentice has outgrown her teacher. Master, face your mistress. I cared for you as family, but do not doubt that I will strike you down without hesitation. All right, hesitation, doubt, mistresses, masters. It sounds very creepy. Very, very creepy. All right, well, we should have some spells here that we can utilize. All right, we have fortune, summon elemental. That sounds exciting. We do have lightning bolt, which does look like the... Oh, we have implosion. Now that deals 34% of the target's creature's total health as prime damage and pulls all creatures within three tiles around the target toward it instantly. Oh yeah, there's going to be some implosions going on right now. Alright, let's see. I feel like this is going to be the best play we can do right now. Alright, we'll start with that. I don't think we have any ranged units right now. The arcane shield is going to try to hold on. Inner fire! Oh, high luck, and goodbye to our archers that we just put up. That's not super great. Oh, he's gonna... They don't have any, um... Any way to break through the wall, though. Hmm. I feel as though... They may be miscalculating how things are supposed to work here. Alright, good. Attack. Wow, she's dead. Straight up, huh? Alright, what else do you guys have? Well, you're going to start laying into our final ranged units. That's a bit unfortunate. 
Oh my god, that did so much damage. Ouch. Holy crap, that hurt. Alright, we can't actually kill anything. Wow. Our dudes are so incredibly weak. Alright. Some damage there. We can... Fire on these guys, it looks like? Okay. Alright, well I'm going to do a big chunk of damage right here. I'm going to move you a bit closer to the gate. I don't know that I can kill you 100%, but I think we have a pretty good chance. Gonna have our genie fly on in and do some damage there. Kill you straight up and outright. And then we're going to go and kill off you as well. They're giant. I don't even know what these things are, what I'm using right now. I kind of don't want to look because I feel like maybe it's not the best idea. Well, the inner fire is coming. Why are they able to move so quickly? That does so much damage. Okay, the arcane shield's out. Man, that thing's just wicked, huh? Alright, let's take a look. We have an arcane eagle. We have a golem. Oh, I hit wait on accident. That's okay. We have a wall, apparently, here. We have a djinn. Okay. By the djinn of Chaldean. I don't know. Alright, we're going to go with lightning bolt. We can summon an elemental, I suppose. Wouldn't be terrible. Fear the elemental. Muhahaha. <laughs> Alright, we're going to get the Jin to come out. The Elemental gets to go. The re Retaliatory Strike looks pretty nasty, but we're going to give it a shot anyway. Alright, it looks like Defending is going to be where it's at for you. And we're going to attack with our Magic Carpet Rider. Let's see here, our Apprentice, as it were. And then we have, what is this guy considered? This guy is considered a Golem. Okay. Well, there you go. We will come on over here with the golem. And then we shall probably do enough murder to kill you off. So, here comes the murder. It looks like we're going to be able to survive this. It looks that way. Whether that's true or not, well, that remains to be seen. Alright, what else can we do? We can do lightning bolt. Which doesn't do anywhere near as much damage as I thought it would. Alright, we're going to kill off these four for sure. And then we're going to attack from... I guess we're going to attack right from where we're at. Three to five on you. We've got four. The four retaliatory strike. Our arcane eagle is ready. We're going to go launch it on over here. And all that's left is the 16. And our gin can't quite close yet. I imagine there's going to be some sort of horrible spell coming our way. Oh, burning down our peeps. Just gonna go for the defense, huh? That's an uh, interesting choice. Alright, I hear that the music has stopped once again, guys. I thought they might have fixed that, but eh. Again, it will be fixed eventually, I'm sure of it. I can't fathom that being a difficult thing to fix. They just have to actually get on top of it and make it work. It seemed like earlier it was fixed, but maybe I just didn't play long enough. Or the combat track I was in wasn't long enough. Eh. It is simply what it is. Alright. So we defeated Gloria, she's reached the max level, he's reached the max level. We lost quite a few units, but eh, in the end, we were victorious. Thomas, how could you be so blind? You find a nest of demons and you go at them alone. And you learn nothing. It was a trap. You and traps. Uh, I am glad that you are alive, Thomas, but the men you lost are not coming back. I'm sorry, what can I say? Sorry? We would have captured her if we had worked together. Learn the names of every demon that murdered my parents and slaughtered my village. But you had to go alone, blinded by your pride! Silence, Imaril! This is not the time to fight amongst family. He hasn't told you the part yet, but the succubus made a claim on my sword. She knew its name. I see. I'm glad the wizard finally killed her. This Gloria was certainly the mastermind behind the attack on your parents' blood forge. Your sword is the last they ever made. If you would just let me know what's really going on, I would make far fewer mistakes. It is time I take you to Hammerfall. Jewel of the East. Home of a thousand mysteries. 
You've earned the right to learn at least a few of them. Indeed I have. Alright, folks, we're gonna close this up Following and... the very road he had made safe to travel, Thomas finally arrived at the magnificent city of Hammerfall. There were indeed wonders ahead, and mysteries to unravel. And though his adventures had forged him into a man, nothing could have prepared him for the challenges he was about to face. Wait, are you suggesting that Conrad Wolf was a bloodsmith? I do not suggest anything. I only deal in certainties. These are the facts. One's heart must measure the truth. Indeed. All right, so let's go and get this started. All right, there's our victory. Blind Instruments of Fatality. Took us one month, three weeks, and four days to do it. We're going to go to the next map. And once we get the story out of the way, guys, we're going to break off the episode and then continue on from there. Assuming we have to, there is no story. Then perhaps we'll just break it off, eh? Eh? Well, it seems like... There it goes. Then came the orcs, over 2,000 strong, fleeing the slavery of the Empire. As they flooded through the gates of Hammerfall, the Wolf Duchy garrison was preparing to draw arms, lest the horde of orcs and beastmen devastate the city. I was there. I met with Lord Conrad in person, and advised him to follow his heart. And to his grand misfortune, that is exactly what he did. Alright, so following your heart apparently can lead you to grand Thanks, misfortune. Decided. You shall find shelter behind my walls, Belashi. But I must ask that you depart as soon as you're fed and rested. For the city cannot sustain a population such as yours. Father Sky, hear Belashi's promise. Orcs grateful, Wolf Knight. Friends now until Spirit World. All right, friends now until Spirit World. What's up? It was a time of war, not diplomacy. The Imperial Armada, led by Sergei Griffin, arrived shortly after the Orcs, ordering Conrad to stand down and surrender his guests. This terrifying fleet was designed for but one purpose: to seek and eliminate rebel slaves. This is our darkest hour. I ask you, as family, to honor my words. We have given refuge to those in need and are bound to protect those within our walls. But uncle, this is the Imperial Armada. We can't win. They are in their thousands. Thomas, sometimes you fight because it is the right thing to do. I'll keep them ashore as long as I can. Ride fast and hard. Burning the bridges behind you to give Hammerfall time to prepare its defense. I know Sergei of Griffin. He is so cocksure he will underestimate our resolve and resourcefulness. Those who have once tasted freedom would rather die than face shackles again. Wolves never surrender! For Hammerfall! For Hammerfall! For Hammerfall! For falling here? Ah, uh, oh, darn. I'm no good at this, guys. I'm no good at this. Alright, ooh. We are gonna burn some bridges. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for this episode. I'm glad we were able to finish up the last scenario. And now we gotta see what this whole new crazy scenario has to, well, challenge us and make us better people. I don't know. But, either way, guys, I'll be back in just a bit with the next installment, the next episode of Might and Magic Heroes 7. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later.